the G6 left me hanging on the trail the last time I took it out um, so I haven't driven it for a while um, a little bit out of disgust and uh, just need to take a break from it uh, I let it sit so long it's actually gotten dusty and there's no sense in that so need to clean this off and get her get her back on the trail <laughs> Team Baxter. So I pulled the top off and you can immediately see that there's wires everywhere. So of course I need to get all that tied up and get that back in there. I had a problem with the receiver shutting down on me. I don't know if there's anything wrong with it. I actually tested it before this video and it's still working. Um, I don't know if I got a little condensation in there. You can actually see a little evidence of water getting in there. But um, last time I was out, the receiver stopped, and that's why I have all these wires out. This is the way it left me on the trail. Um, so I'll see what I can do about cleaning that up and getting that sealed back up. This is a waterproof receiver. There's no reason it should have quit. Um, there is corrosion going on in here because I do not have a drain in this receiver box. I'm conflicted on whether or not to put a drain in there because I have a waterproof receiver, but things aren't going the well the, the way it is now, so I'm going to have to do something. I've been having problems with the drive shafts the whole time um, since I did this build. The problem isn't actually with the drive shafts, the problem is with the angle because I have tall shocks on. That makes my MIP drive shafts sit at an extreme angle, which is not uh preferred so I really don't have a solution for that right now I've clocked the axle extreme in the back and not so much in the front so what I'm going to do is match the rear axle to the front axle um, the links are the same so the axle should perform the same at the right at the same uh, at the same position so I'll get the rear axle fixed I changed out the Tekken motor for this energy here. Um, it looks terrible, but it's still running. I've actually already checked the brushes, and they're still at a good length, and everything's okay with the motor. It does need a cleaning. Um, see if I can get some motor cleaner in there, or or um, get it cleaned up somehow. And then I should be able to get this back on the road. So. So on the rear axle, I'm swapping these large rod ends for these smaller ones with these little spacers on here. This is the configuration I used in the front, so being that I'm trying to match the front, of course I used the same. Um, these large ones, they clock the axle too much, so... So this MIP drive shaft tucked away in here. Um, I think it's time to say goodbye. This hasn't worked well for me since I did the first version of this project. I keep trying to hold on to it because it's a good product, but it's just not working for me. So I'm going to pull it out and put the stockers back on until I can find a better solution. Which I probably won't because the stockers are a really good solution. They tend to twist, but I have a sort of a fix for that. So I'm going to get those stockers back on there and then I won't have any more drive shaft problems. I got the rear axle straightened out and everything's okay back there. So now I'm gonna move on to getting this mess of wires taken care of. Um, I've already changed the receiver from the SR300 to this 410. Um, quite a bit of size difference between these two receivers. Uh, so it's gonna help me inside the box with all the wires. The SR410, since it's not waterproof, I'll have to balloon it. Um, so I'll get that receiver inside the balloon, get it tucked away inside this receiver box, and then I'll run some waterproofing um, behind that just for a little added insurance. So that's the next step. This is turning into a little bit more of a project than I thought it was going to be. I'm ending up with um, tools and parts everywhere. But anyway, here I'm switching the medium crawler innovations phones out for the 
dark pit bull outers just so I can soften it up a little bit I've actually got these out now um, this foam is quite a bit softer than the mediums I hope I'm not making a mistake but go ahead and put these softer ones in here so I can soften that tire up a little bit and of course I'm going to use the closed cell inners so get that back together and get this wheel put back together so I'm working on the front wheels changing out the foams um, putting softer foams in the front wheels uh, I have these hex hubs here that don't seat all the way down on the bearing um, now regular hex hubs don't always seat right down on the knuckles but um, I feel like these are a little bit too far off so what I'm doing is drilling them out with the Dremel and then getting them to fit down on there just a little bit better and do that all the way around because I have these thick hexes on here to kind of push the wheels out a little bit to get them away from the, from the wheel weights I have here from Blue Monkey RC. I also have these hexes on the back just to keep it uniform all the way around. So, like I said, I'm going to have to do these, do this drilling all the way around on all four, and then I'll get these back on, get the wheels back on. So I finished this truck again. I'm so back and forth on this truck, I don't know what to do with it. This time I ended up adding four wheel steering. I took the metal drive shafts off and then ended up reinstalling them. Um, just because I want them on there and I want them to work. I'm not quite sure what to do with this truck, but anyway, I've got it back together. I did a complete check of every screw, um, tightened everything. I finished late last night it's actually Sunday morning right now getting ready to go out on the group crawl and I'm gonna get a crawl in with this before I do the group crawl and that's about it for now uh, just a general overhaul of the truck entirely which I recommend for all trucks uh, even though this one's been a nightmare pretty much all your trucks need to overhaul every once in a while and I'm terrible at getting that done so that's what I've done here I guess I'm finished for now. I'll take it out and hope these components work for me and keep me out on the trail. Mm -hmm.